Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you've been interested in the hobby of astronomy for some time, and after seeing that beautiful view of the night sky through your telescope, you might want to capture it with your camera. You just want to begin with astrophotography. Astrophotography is the art of capturing the night sky to produce beautiful images of the night sky and celestial objects. But to begin with astrophotography, you need a good camera. The camera you should use depends upon what kind of pictures you want to take such as whether you want to take planetary photos or you want to capture deep sky objects. Typically, while choosing a camera for astrophotography, it should have the good build quality, perform long exposures, have remote shutter capability, and ISO control. For prolonged use, it should have good battery life and noise reduction. Nowadays, you can get a really good camera, and there are many varieties available with one better than others. Usually, you get what you paid for. You can't expect a $200 camera will give you the same results as a $5,000 camera. So it's very important to manage your budget and choose camera which is value for money and will satisfy most of your needs for the price you pay for. Many of you might say, my phone is a really good camera. Why can't I use that? The answer is yes, you should use your phone. Nowadays, phones come with really good cameras and some of them do have a long exposure option so that they can capture the details in the photo. If you're just starting with astrophotography, then using your phone is the best thing you can do. Just buy a smartphone adapter that fits with your telescope and start capturing the night sky with your phone. Using the phone, in the beginning, is great, but the problem with the phone is it doesn't give you sharp images and that's why you will not be able to capture most of the details of the celestial object. Eventually, as you want to grow in the astrophotography field, or if you want some really good images of the night sky, then you'll need a good camera to capture the night sky. There are many different types of cameras available in the market, specially dedicated to astrophotography. But in this video, we will see some of the cameras for astrophotography, which is multi-purpose and are suitable for beginners. Some of them are pocket friendly and some of them are quite expensive. The first camera on this list is the Canon EOS Rebel T8i. It is a DSLR type camera. This is the latest model from the Canon's Rebel series. It has an APS-C type sensor. Its actual resolution is 25.8 megapixels and its effective resolution is 24.1 megapixels. Its ISO range is from 100 to 25,600, which can be extended to 51,200. It has seven frames per second continuous shooting or 7.1 5 FPS capacity and live view. It can shoot a 4K video and has a battery life of 800 shots. The weight of the camera is 515 grams. The camera has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so that transferring photos is convenient. The second camera on the list is the Nikon D5600. It is also a DSLR type camera. This camera was launched in 2016 by Nikon. It also has an APS-C type sensor. Its actual resolution is 24.7 megapixels and its effective resolution is 24.2 megapixels. Its ISO ranges from 100 to 25,600. It has 5 frames per second continuous shooting at 24.2 megapixels. This camera does not have a 4K shooting capacity, but it can shoot good quality full HD videos. The weight of the camera is 465 grams. The battery life of this camera is up to 970 shots. This one also comes with built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for seamless transfer between devices. The third camera on the list is the Canon EOS 90D. This is an expensive camera compared to the previously mentioned models. It also has an APS-C type sensor. Its actual resolution is 34.4 megapixels and its effective resolution is 32.5 megapixels. Its ISO range is from 100 to 25,600 which can be extended to 51,200. It has 10 FPS continuous shooting at 32.5 megapixels. It can record ultra high definition 4K videos at 29.97 FPS. The weight of the camera is 701 grams. The build quality of the camera is very good. It can be used in extreme weather conditions and prolonged duration. As we always mention, astronomy is an expensive hobby, and astrophotography gets more expensive as you need to spend more on different things for better quality. As these are some of the cameras which are good for beginners to intermediate levels of astrophotographers, so as a beginner in astrophotography, you should consider buying only the multi-purpose DSLR cameras mentioned in this video. These cameras are good for daytime photography and also for astrophotography. If it interests you more, then you should consider buying more dedicated and expensive cameras for your astrophotography journey. 
I hope this video helped you to understand different cameras for astrophotography to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.